how you doing today? This is Lonnie Edwards with I Care Fitness. I'm here with Justin Barnett, and we're going to do some workouts that's going to really get him prepared for this next upcoming event he has coming with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, are you ready? Okay, our first drill is the X Factor. What it's about to do is do a lot of shuffling and punching at the same time. This is a minute straight. Ready? Go. Do a quick feet. Stay low. Punch him. That's a 10 pound weight he has right there. It's tough staying low. Keeping his balance. For a minute, just real long. Woo, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. It's 30 seconds in. Got that countdown coming. Yeah, come burn him out, burn him out, burn him out. Ten, nine, eight, finish strong. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna rotate. So this workout right here, I call it the four point. It's building up explosive and speed for a strike for a pulling guard. What he's gonna do is gonna take out and just go explosive and he's gonna bag up. And we'll slow back forward and bag up and keep doing it. You got a minute or 30 seconds, whatever one you want to do. So we're going to start this up and we can go ahead and get him situated. Ready? Go. Top of the drills you're already learning today, we're also going to teach you some of the techniques to start off with your 40 drill, along with your 510 5 testing drill. I know a lot of you viewers are in high school, but look, or are looking to play college football. Anytime you go to a football camp, the coaches are wanting to see your 40 drill and your 510 5 drill. So today we're just going to talk about the finer points of it. So make sure you get a good takeoff and chase a tenth of a second off the top. First step is get, oh, I'd say maybe a yard off your starting line. From there, you want to dig your front foot into the ground, make sure it's got good traction that you can explode out. Second step, is you want to take your, your off foot, or your back foot, and you want to put it on the inset of your starting foot. So you want to go out approximately six inches. Six to eight, depending on how big you are and what feels comfortable. After that, you want to move it back to about your heel or a little deeper. And whatever feels comfortable gives you good balance and a forward lean. 
The next step, you want to get down just in this position here. You kind of want to crawl out to get down in a good powerful kind of base. And then you just want to start walking your hands back. And you want it to be where you can barely hold yourself up because you got so much power on your hands. Another good key reminder is you want this knee to be forward. You don't want it to be up like this, but you want it to be over your toes. A good forward base. So after you get a good comfortable position, Get a good comfortable position. You kind of want to rock in it. Make sure your muscles and knees are all loose. And get your base on your hands again. Then you're going to come up like this, and then you want to put your arm about right here. And you want to just fire out. So, a good thing to do when you're firing out is you want to keep your head down for the first. 10 to 15 yards. Don't look up, don't come up, just stay down and pump. And that right there will help you save some seconds off your 40. Next drill, we're going to come over here, we're going to talk about the 5-10-5 drill. Now this drill helps college coaches or recruiters or anything determine how loose your hips are and how fast you can change direction. So this drill, you got to start in this middle cone, So we're going to go right first. So your right hand has to be down, and it can't be over here, it has to be square with the cone. And on this one you can't, you can't drop your foot back, and everything has to be perfectly in line. So with this one, you just get kind of a nice square base, you kind of just get down, kind of squat. And you want to put your hand out. Now you don't want to put pressure on this. Just kind of dangle your finger so it's going barely. And you kind of want to get just a slight lean to whichever way you're going. So I'm going right. This hand's going to be right here. And then you're just going to kind of slow it out. Now, when, whatever direction you go to the first time, you don't really open up and run. You're going to kind of jump shuffle. The only way I can describe it. But basically, what you do is you just boom, boom, you touch, you swipe it, and you slow it out. Now, you drop your hips and your knees. Don't bend over. But then you have to come all the way back up to turn direction and go finish. What you want to do, you want to drop your hip, lean into it, swipe, power through, and keep your head down, finish through the line. And today, that's all we got to show you. Have a good day.